the Madre. Say good morning, Mommy. Good morning. We are headed into HEB, the best grocery store in Texas, to go keto grocery shopping. My mommy got on the keto wagon when I got on the keto wagon, and then she fell off the keto wagon. <laughs> so we're headed in my eyes watering. Um, we're heading in to do some keto grocery shopping. Let's go. Um, can we do eggnog? <laughs> no, there is a. I want to make a keto eggnog. I found a recipe. Oh, okay. um, so we already get the proper kind of milk. So when you're on keto, you shouldn't drink regular milk. Almond milk, cashew milk, coconut milk. Oh, oh so that is good. Yeah. Okay, good. You can drink all those non-animal milks. Right. Yeah, we have more than enough eggs. Let's see if they have ghee over here. If they have ghee, that'll be really good. Um, there's different kind of ghees, but I don't even... I ordered my ghee on... on um... Excuse me, sir. Do you all carry ghee? Yeah, that's on the left hand side. Oh, okay. So, mommy, if you don't get ghee, you can use Kerrygold. Kerrygold because this is farm raised. Grass fed. Grass fed. Okay. Um, so that's the butter that they refer, prefer on keto. And there's another brand, but all the rest of these are kind of like no-no's. Then okay, you could also do Greek yogurt, but it has to be plain, no flavor. No. Nothing with sugar in it. Greek yogurt, plain. Let's see what the nutrition facts. It's eight grams of carbs, seven grams of sugar in here. Is there any that has less? All right, mommy, let's come back to the yogurt. You're not dying without it. So no juices, mother. I don't know I drink water. Yes, yeah, so I'm just saying. No honey. Even though I love honey. No honey. These are peanut butters. Mommy, you can do almond butter with low sugar. I was looking for the ghee, but what I found is bone broth is really good for you too. This is why people can't succeed because they <laughs> won't change their mentality. I like what I like. Obviously, liking what, you, liking what you like and ain't been doing you right. <laughs> Whatever. But well, mommy, you can do pasta sauces. You can do Alfredo sauce. Alfredo. I don't like red sauce. Well, she is with these I don't likes. I don't like red sauce. Like, see, it burns my stomach. So I like uh, Alfredo sauces. Well, pick one that you like and look at the nutrition facts. Something light. We don't want nothing light. No less fat. We want the fats. Eight grams of fat, two grams of carbs, no sugars in this four cheese Alfredo ragu. So is that bigger than this one? <coughs> One gram of sugar, three um, grams of carbs. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And total six fats. Yeah, this is better. Oh, fatten me up. Oh, ghee right here. Ha ha. What I love four. Four. He did not say four. Here's. Oh, I can't bend from my. Had a good leg. I had a good leg day yesterday. Legs hurt. What we looking for? Yeah, that's. Yeah. So, ghee butter. This has 14 grams of fat, zero carbs, and clearly no sugars. Stevia. Stevia. Right there. You want the liquid kind or the Stevia pack kind? The raw. You like the pack? Yes, yeah, so that way I can take it with me. Take some to work with me. Oh, but look, they have the little Stevia drops too. I personally like the drops, but she wants the packaging. So, I'm old school. Stevia it is. Yeah. Like an almond flour or coconut flour. All the healthy stuff is always right next to each other. Well, the thing that you're really looking for is the flours or the less carbs because the flours are going to have a lot of fat, but it should just be less carbs than regular flour. Ooh, the cassava flour, gluten free, grain free, nut free, milk free. Let's see the nutrition. Okay. Pull it down. Oh. 28 grams of carbs. 28 grams of carbs. Zero sugar. <laughs> See why we read nutrition facts? All the front of it make it look all nice and cute. 
negative. Let's see what this almond, almond flour does. Five grams of carbs, but three grams of fiber, so that makes two grams of net carbs and one gram of sugar, with 15 grams of fat in it. To me, that sounds better. Better than? Than what the coconut, oh, sweet the cassava. Jesus. The cassava or the coconut? The coconut, but I guess it depends on taste, really, which taste you prefer more. Oh, it's flour. No, mommy, this is coconut flour, um, they gonna taste different. This is, this is what I need to get some of this swerve. They say swerve is the best like sweetener to like bake with and stuff. Dixie, did you see the price of this flour? I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is $15 for some flour. Three pounds of flour. I don't think so. See, that's why, mm -mm. stop mommy. <sighs> All right, let's go. Get your coconut flour. Let's keep pushing. Mm -hmm. Do we have a cheaper bag? <laughs> okay. Pull up your grocery list because we only have one, two, I mean, three, really four, five, six, seven things in this cart, and we've been in here for like thirty minutes. We don't need nothing down that aisle. So no nothing. You don't even go down the aisle because that's just temptation. We'll go down the beer aisle. You don't even drink beer. <laughs> Crazy lady. Bacon, ground beef, beef. So mommy doesn't eat a lot of red meat. So chicken, turkey, pork. You can basically have any type of protein, really. Mm -hmm. But these are going to be some of the healthier, Ooh, higher in fat. Yes. For protein, you're only having about 20% of protein a day. So what does that break down to? I don't know. You need two, to find out how wings. Many Two, two winglets, three winglets. <laughs> what are we talking here? <laughs> you need to figure out how many calories a day you're oh. supposed to be taking in. I'm just, you asked me the question. Shopping with your mother, Lord. And you really don't want that lean stuff because that has less fat. Well, let's grab some bacon. So no flavors, because it'll have sugar in it. Oh, like that apple wood. Thick cut bacon that he had you buy the last time that has. I mean, you can have thick cut, but it just can't be. How many sugars is in that? Oh, one gram of sugar? That's not too bad. It's probably that maple that I like that. Has four grams of fat, four total grams of fat, and one gram of carb. This is good. It got 19 grams of fat. Oh, yeah, these little Jimmy Dean things. Mm -hmm. Look, you can take those easily with you. Bless you. Because at 12 o'clock, mommy's going to try intermittent fasting also. So by 12 o'clock, she's already gone from the house. <laughs> so unless she starts cooking and bringing it with her, with these little Jimmy Dean things, I've actually never tried them, but on all the keto like websites and blogs and blogs, yeah, people are always ranting about these. So come at 12 o'clock, I'm gonna be starving like 21 Marvin. grams of fat in it, two grams of carbs, and less than one gram of sugar in it. So that's not bad. They're two for five. She hasn't gotten used to the intermittent fasting thing yet because I'm not even hungry yet. Yeah, it's right now I got a headache. 10.30. She's a little cranky because she wants to eat. <laughs> I have been up since 5 o'clock. You still slow? You'll adjust. Give your body some time. Mm -hmm. All right. You, you know I'm what? Not, it, not that you need to get it today, but you can buy cauliflower crust pizzas yeah. and make you some pizzas with, I guess, Alfredo sauce since you don't like red sauce. Miracle noodles. Miracle. See, that's why you ask the people in the store, because they know. Oh, oh, these are that. Okay. Yeah, this will work, too. Thank you. Yeah, see, they're wet. So this is what it looks like. This mm -hmm. isn't the one that I used, but that's the one that's on that picture you pulled up, Mama. Oh, Lexi, this looks so <laughs> Oh, Angel here, pasta. Yeah, this is the one that. Yeah, that's it's the one. just already. But see, when you make it, you can't really, you don't really cook it because it's it'll get real soft. So you want angel hair? Yeah. Or you want fettuccine, the thicker? Or spaghetti? Mm -mm, not spaghetti. Angel. All right. Let me try one package first. Yep. I might not like it. 
You cooking today? Is this enough for me and you? I don't think that's enough for both of us. I'm a big girl. I like to eat. <laughs> so the we miracle can, can noodle. Yeah. Zero grams of fat. One gram of carb with two grams of fiber, so that makes it a negative one gram of carb and zero sugars. So yeah. All right, let's go. Miracle noodle. Quinoa. The quinoa she want has 34 grams of carbs in it. Even though quinoa is very healthy for you, on the keto diet, it defeats the purpose. So the key to produce and vegetables is anything that grows under the ground, is a no-no. If it grows above the ground, yay! Saving grace of all carbs. Cauliflower. But look, it's orange cauliflower. That's very interesting. So if you want mashed potatoes, if you want some rice, if you want it all, you just get some cauliflower. And fake it till you make it. Purple cauliflower? What is going on? Okay. That's very interesting. But yeah, so cauliflower rice. Like look, y'all know how y'all do with cauliflower. Does that grow above or under the ground? Look, chopped cauliflower, dice, florets, like all of that. All right, we did damage at HEB. <laughs> She's horrible. So let's see what we can go home and spruce up with our, I'm going to be cooking. Who's the mother? She should be doing the cooking. All right, guys, we're back from the grocery store and it's time for the reason of the season Bible verse. So today is Isaiah 9, 6 and 7. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to order it and establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Amen. So I am about to go in this kitchen and try and whip up some keto friendly eggnog. I had a major craving for eggnog. Um, after Thanksgiving and I googled a keto recipe so since I'm home today with some downtime let's go get in the kitchen alrighty y'all so I just want to address a few questions not too many um, but before I start thank you for everybody that watched vlogmas day number three or four vlogmas four vlogmas day number four with the fashion show I appreciate all your comments thank you thank you thank you Aurel Dia Dia I think I'm saying that right. Um, keep the dress. Well, I don't know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Great job on keto intermittent fasting. How close are you to your goal weight? Um, so first question, how close am I to my goal weight? I still have 10 pounds to lose. Um, and they have been the hardest 10 pounds. <laughs> Can other airline employees use your shuttle to the airport? No. Not with ID, not with anything. But American Airlines does have, not, not American, Delta. Delta has a shuttle that they use also in the Kew Gardens area. Uh, I don't believe American does. And those are really the only three airlines that you see in the area, unless there's some regional airlines that are over there too, which there are. Um, but you know, their uniforms all look the same, so I can never tell. Most, most of their uniforms look the same. Christopher Hennessy, sorry, I've seen this question um, and I just keep forgetting to answer it. You, um, you're asking what is the name of the Christmas song that plays at the start of the video. And the music that has been that has been playing in my videos is from this website called Epidemic Sound. And it's like a subscription that you use. Um, I think it's $9.99 or $14.99 a month. And I get to use all the music that's on there. Um, I think some of the songs you can find on iTunes or Apple Music or SoundCloud or whatever. I think some of them you can find on there, but the ones that I have looked for outside of on Epidemic Sound, I can't find anywhere. So I'm not really sure how it works, but these are songs that I get from that website and I pay a monthly subscription to use them without being copyrighted. Um, so the name of that song is Tell Me Santa. Um, let me just tell you, I don't know if you'll be able to go find it 
anywhere. This song right here. The intro and outro song. Um, yeah, so the name of the song is Tell Me Santa um, Made of Snow, I guess is the name of the album on Epidemic Sound. But yeah, that's where I'm getting all my music from. So every time y'all ask me what the name of a song is, it's literally from that website and they have all kind of music on there. Lady Lazar also says, um, first things first, as I said before, Alexa, I love your vlogs and I wish they were longer. <laughs> You're informative and have a great attitude about everything. Thank you, I try. It ain't always easy. In my pursuit to be an FA, I really am concerned about my skin. Genetically, I have good skin and have always have, but I'm concerned about the dryness flying causes. Can you tell us about your skincare regimen? What do you use and why? And how has it changed since you've been flying? Girl, that is an absolute true concern. Um, I went through a period where my skin was very, very dry and I couldn't figure out why because I have naturally oily skin. Um, so I went through a period of about four months or so going into Sephora and trying all different kind of products and I finally narrowed it down to a few that like keeps me really moisturized. I'll tell you two things that I really really use. The other is just kind of like skin. Um, the other stuff is just more of like things to clear up my skin and you know get it little marks to go away or whatever but two things that I use that I really love as a combination that keep me moisturized is the Peter Thomas Roth Potent C Serum. It's expensive. It's basically a hundred dollars and I combine that with the so I combine the um, Peter Thomas Roth Potent C Serum um, with I put that on my face first and then the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Moisturizer. That thing leaves my face so moisturized for hours and then of course water 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 um, a lot of people that I fly with do the little the little spritz you know refreshers on their face and all that stuff but once I started combining those two products like my face just was like rejuvenated um, and then I do like night nightly mask and I do a lot of hydration mask overnight and stuff You know because at the end of the day your, your skin is still really really dry like my hands I haven't found a lotion that will keep my hands moisturized on the aircraft for nothing and I cannot stand it Can't stand it. Oh my B says your videos always put a smile on my face. Let me heart that. Thank you Angelica diva 1988 hey girl Hey Alexi, just a video, just an idea for Vlogmas. Can you do a real estate video? I want to be a homeowner and I'm curious about the process. Thanks. Yeah, I'll do one. Um, can you tell me a little more details on what you want to know and I'll get me and mommy to sit down and kind of chat it up about the home buying process? I'd love to do that for y'all. Um, I keep hearing my audio is really low. I'm sorry y'all. Sometimes when I'm in like more quiet places, I won't talk as loud and project my voice. Um, so that makes it where you can't hear me as well. I am going to get a microphone one of these days. One of these days. I'm going to get one so y'all can hear me. <laughs> all right. So that's going to be all the questions for the day. I'm trying so hard not to be overly long-winded. Um, so, yeah. Let's get in the kitchen. All righty. Time to get started with the keto eggnog. So the recipe calls for... Two cups of unsweetened milk, nut milk. This is unsweetened almond milk. Um, two cups of heavy cream, one cinnamon stick, one teaspoon of nutmeg, six egg yolks, um, two teaspoons of vanilla, and then uh, one to two thirds or three fourths cups of sweetener. So I have all my ingredients. Let's get started.
whipping power it takes. We're gonna go big old KitchenAid. Let that fluff up our yolk and sugar mixture. six hours or overnight and right now it is six it's 4 13 p.m so that probably means i have to try it for breakfast in the morning but i can't wait it smells so good anyways y'all that is going to be the end of vlogmas day five five not ten five <laughs> anyways i hope you all enjoyed it it's just another day in the life of alexis anyways um i will let you all know how the eggnog tastes on vlogmas day six until then, make sure you subscribe, like, 